What is up everybody, Dan and the Fireman here. We're gonna be going over three motorcycle helmets that are under $200 that are dang good when it comes to price and safety. So we're gonna be going over some of these things because you guys have been asking what helmet should I get? Which, what gloves should I get? What jacket should I get? I'm gonna be going over a few of these things as a consumer just like you because I wanna make sure I'm getting the best bang for my buck on top of getting as much of the safety gear as I possibly can. So we're on Get Lowered Cycles, and this is the place I like to first check because they've been awesome to the channel. So the links in the description will be affiliate links. So if you're gonna buy a helmet, uh, check this place out and it's gonna support the channel at the same time. So the way I'm picking these helmets is that I'm making sure it goes above and beyond just the DOT certification. So I wanna get something that's ECE or Snell rated. And if you wanna know more about ECE and Snell and all the different ratings like Sharp and all that stuff, I do have an ebook it's five dollars right now and it goes over a bunch of stuff it's 50 plus pages and a bunch of them are dedicated to uh, gear and everything so if you want to catch up on that check that out i also have videos that linked in the description that talk about all that stuff so if you just would rather watch instead of read there you go so now we're going to jump into the first helmet all right so let's go ahead and take a look at that and i'm going to be talking to you like i am a consumer and I'm gonna be going through the whole website too. So this is actually kind of like a Get Lowered Cycles website thing. So right here we have the Speed and Strength SS900 Solid Speed Helmet. Now the reason why, like I said, I picked this is because I wanna make sure it's gonna be a full face um, because you know I, I really wanna protect my chin and this beard. I really wanna protect uh, as much as I possibly can if I'm gonna be wearing gear. So a lot of people are saying, well, I can't afford a full face helmet because you know the, the half helmets and the three quarter helmets are just much cheaper. Well, guess what? This is a very safe, full face helmet for $109. And when I go into the description, this is what I want you guys to start doing too, is that I want you to first check to see if it meets some ECE minimum standards. Now I like DOT, it, it's, it's fine. Uh, the testing itself is fine, but DOT is an honor system. ECE, literally you have to meet these standards before even getting to the market. So I pretty much pick EC and above. So that's what I check. You know, if I see a cool looking helmet, oh, okay, cool, is it safety rated? But right here, this is what I want you guys to see. So it's gonna be meeting DOT and EC 2205 standards. And I also take a look at if it has shields only like, or like a, a clear face shield or a dark shield. So right here, it's showing that it has a dark shield on, but it says notes uh, ships with a clear shield only. Now that could be a problem. I mean, a lot of you guys are gonna be like, man, I wanted that dark shield. Well, go ahead and get the dark shield too. That's gonna add a little bit more to your cost. But if you Get the dark shield and you have a clear shield now you have nighttime and then daytime riding uh, shields if you absolutely need to so that's pretty cool um, this is a really good helmet uh, but the, here's the thing that doesn't have it on this one um, i'm going to see if i can contact them see if they can update it but it is an intermediate oval shaped uh, helmet so we have three different sizes of our heads we have intermediate oval shaped we have round oval and then long oval uh, heads typically the standard uh, North American head shape is intermediate oval so you're gonna find a lot of helmets that are like that but once again I talk more into it in the other videos linked in the description but you definitely don't want to have pressure on the crown of your head it's okay to have a little chipmunk chinks that's perfectly fine you just don't want to have the crown on your head so if you have an intermediate oval shaped head and you're looking for a helmet that is gonna be definitely under $130 check out the speed strength SS 900 solid speed helmet um, this is just the gloss black, but there's different colors. I do have the links to all these helmets in the description. So the next helmet that we're gonna be going into is the HJC CL17. Once again, I'm gonna be taking a look at the description, make sure it is safe. So I already know that this is safe. I've recommended this helmet before. It's a DOT and Snell M215 rated. So M215 is the year of the Snell rating. Um, there's a now a, a new Snell 2020 rating, but the M215 2015 is a good rated uh, helmet. So definitely check it out. Um, if you don't know what Snell is, it's a private organization that does its own testing. Uh, it's not a government entity. So I actually trust them a little bit more um, because they have no real stake in if these people can you know, make money. So I actually love that. Another thing that I really like is that uh, on Get Lord Cycles is that they have this right here. So this is a round oval shaped helmet. So if you have like more of a round head, this one will fit you more. If you have an intermediate oval head like myself or a long oval head, you're gonna start feeling pressure on the front um, and the back, mainly on the front. So if you start putting on helmets uh, at your local dealer and you're gonna buy one, and you feel pressure right here, or if you order from Get Lord Cycles or anywhere like that, and you feel pressure up there, you definitely want to replace it and get something that's gonna fit your head. So that's something you wanna check out. So this has some really good stuff. It has removable liners, 
and that's going to make it a lot easier for you to disinfect and clean your helmet. So if you wear a lot of makeup um, or you sweat a lot and you get all those oils into your cheek pads, it starts to stink a little bit, you can actually pull them out and do some hand washing. So nice warm soapy water, uh, wash it hand wash, don't put it in a washing machine or a dishwasher, hand wash it, rinse it, let it dry, air dry, don't put it in the dryer. And that's going to help keep um, the inside of your helmet smelling good and less bacteria and, and less issues. Plus, uh, sweat and makeup actually deteriorate the polystyrene foam on the inside, so you definitely want to keep washing it every so often. Um, a lot of people are saying, well, why should I get a helmet that's about $135 when, you know, Shoei is like $500 plus or something like that? I absolutely love my Shoei Hornet X2. It's a great helmet, but it has a different purpose. Um, it has different things. Uh, when it comes to these uh, more inexpensive helmets, you're not really skimping out on, on on safety, it, this is Snell rated, you're skipping out a little bit on the technology. So uh, it's gonna have a little bit less ventilation, it's gonna have uh, different features, it might have just one solid shell and then in order for it to be different sizes, it's just gonna have bigger and smaller cheek pads. So if you have a small head and you get one of these more inexpensive helmets, you're gonna have this big bobble head sometimes. And that's just what you're gonna have to live with, with uh, this being inexpensive. With Shoei's and a bunch of other stuff, they have different shell sizes that are highly rated so that when you put on the helmet, it's not gonna be like this big old thing. That's kind of what I've uh, seen, but this is a great helmet to start off with, especially if you're a new rider. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the next one. This is the Bell SRT helmet. Now I picked Predator Glass Copper and Black because I absolutely love this color. Um, right now this it is on sale for $167.96, so it's typically $209. So I was able to finagle this one into this list. Um, I really wanted to get this out because this is a great helmet. I have first-hand experience, and this is the Bell SRT helmet that I have, and I actually really like it. So I got the black and uh, white striping, and it's a really good helmet, really good ventilation. So you have good ventilation on the front, you have good ventilation up here, and then you have this nice big open area. So what it has, uh, it's called the pano vision. So you have this really big wide angle. Uh, one thing that it doesn't have is pin lock system. So the pin lock system is gonna be like double window paned. So it's gonna trap some air in there. So it's gonna create this anti-fog area in front of you. So one thing you can do is get some anti-fog uh, spray and work with that. But I absolutely love pin lock. But this is a really good helmet for an intermediate oval shaped head. So this is gonna fit my head pretty well. Um, so once again, double check that. So when you look into the description, it is Snell rated. So this is one of those Snell rated helmets that I absolutely love because it comes from Bell. I'm used to having Bell helmets and I wanted something that was gonna keep my head safe and then also uh, be something I'm used to. So the sizing for me was something I already knew. I'm a medium shaped head with Bell helmets, but if you have any problems, uh, let's say you're at their local dealer or get lowered, um, if you take it in and start to get all wobbly or it has too much pressure on the front or the back, take it back in, call up Get Lord, and get a return and get a replacement. And one thing that you might wanna look into is that if you do wear corrective glasses or anything like that, this is eyewear compatible. And what that means is that it's gonna have these nice little slots in the foam so that when you slide in your glasses, it's not gonna put a lot of pressure on your temples. And that is something big that I know a lot of people are complaining about and why they don't wanna wear full face helmets. Guys, there are full face helmets that have slots for that. There's also slots for uh, speakers for your Bluetooth system. So that comes in handy, especially when you have a lot of pressure on those ears with those speakers. Okay, this also has a five year warranty. So typically with that, with manufacturer warranty, is that if you know like some stitching or the D-ring and a bunch of other things start to fall apart, you can take it in and get it replaced. So it's really cool. So I have all three of these helmets in a wish list. Now I do have a wish list on Get Lord Cycles that uh, has all the gear too. So if you wanna check that one out, check it out too. I'll have it linked in the description. But I have these three helmets that you can check out right now if you click the link in the description. But if you wanna see the video where I talk about the Bell SRT and do a little bit more of in-depth uh, motorcycle, how to choose a helmet, check out the video below. That's gonna be the video that you're gonna to wanna to check out to get some more information on the Bell SRT helmet. With that said, I hope you guys ride safe, be safe, and I'll see you around.